little company called Sweet Baby Inc. A little company called Sweet Baby Inc. Who in the past, I would say, let's see, uh, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. Wow, it's actually been 10 months. Because we're in March now. We're in March. And uh, are we? Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah, we're in March. Sort we're in March. Uh, we're in March. It's March. It's, it's, uh... It's March. I think it's March. Yeah, it's March. Uh, they came. They came to really be known. We we there had been whispers, but they were really came to the front during Spider Man Two for the PS Five. Agreed. That is when the complete story on Sweet Baby Inc began because they were so prominent and because people were were rightfully so pissed off with what happened to Spider Man Two with Miles Morales, and then the books got opened. And the deep diving began. Now, I, I've done I've done on my channel sparse coverage. Others were doing deep de in depth coverage at the time. I was doing other reviews, so I was delegating my time, and I didn't. I, I missed the initial train, so I was just I left it to our to our panel here to discuss it here and there. And I've touched on it here and there, but this week, like many others, it was too good not to jump on it with the fact that Sweet Baby Inc. is getting what they deserve, and it started with. This, where a Steam curator, a Steam app, somebody went on and said, I'm going to make a list for you fine people. I'm going to make a list so you can know what games on Steam Sweet Baby Inc. took part in. Now, some of these we already knew because we've done on this show and other streams, we've done deep dives on their website. We've looked at it. We've seen the list. It included God of War. That explained and That Boda. was the disappointing one to me. But now it does that does explain it. Explains Anger Broda. Like two years ago, when I first did that video, and some people jumped on me, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, now it does matter. It does matter. It makes all the sense in the world. We see Spider Man 2. We understand why they made Miles Morales a PS5 launch title instead of a DLC mm -hmm. for Spider Man 1. Now we know why. Because he's the new main character going yep. forward. Because and we know why the deaf girlfriend graffiti artist side quests were in there. Sweet Baby Inc. said you have to have him as your main character. So we know that all that's all that'll happen. And the other lists on there, most recently, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. We know all this stuff. So this guy puts him up there, and he includes a bunch of other things. So it's a, it's a, big, it's a big thing. But, Dre, you covered it this week. What happened shortly after? This joint absolutely exploded, and I am so happy that it did because especially especially friday friday things got completely out of control and i was all here for it because yeah. i was i was just simply trying to do a, a article on on uh freaking mary sue and how mary sue needed to go away finally yeah. but good lord the sweet baby stuff started coming through and when that um curator made that listing my goodness, the eyes of so many people were opened immediately. Because I covered Sweet Baby about a month ago. I made a I made a video on Sweet Baby, and now it's getting even more traction than it did of when I when I dropped it before. And because now that we can actually put a face to the crimes, yes. that's essentially what's happened now. Yeah, these are war crimes. Yeah. We can put a face to the crimes because over the last, because I think it's between the years of 2021 and now is when Sweet Baby Inc. has been active. Yeah. And ever since then, we were like, hey, why does, what the heck happened with, why does that, wait, 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 who, wait, who cut their penis off? Like, like, all of them smoking. Off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all this stuff started happening and everybody in the gaming community, as usual, was dazed and confused because we just want to have fun. We yeah. want to pop our game in. If there's one thing that we want nothing to do with as a gaming community is politics above everything else. These are individuals that have lived their lives in a lot of a lot of cases, seclusion and isolation, because that's our escapism is our is our video games. Yes. And now you've went and sodomized it in front of us. And we and a lot of us were very confused on who was doing the sodomy. Now it's in the forefront. I made I made a review, an article on this about a month ago about Sweet Baby Inc. and how they are a cancer that needs to be cut out. Some people had some things to say to me. Blah, blah, blah. This Friday, I made I made a post on Twitter, which I've never gotten this much traction on Twitter before mm -hmm. in my lifetime. 
all types of all types of traction coming in of all these other gamers are like thank god somebody has exposed these bastards because they need to yep. go they are a cancer they need to be erased and this curator god bless this individual because this man has put the face to the murders and now that everybody is aware of this now sweet baby is upset because someone is oh, exposing them i'm sorry old school cancel culture they're exactly. oh, let's make a hate mob problem is any gonna work anymore exactly it's not gonna work anymore but this is my problem with this now usually when you have the crazy leftists or feminists they're like, blah, blah, blah. this is different because you have intentionally put yourself in the forefront of saying this is for inclusion and diversity and everyone should love us now you're getting the spotlight you wanted you they peacocked the they peacocked too hard they were so proud even right here, this one of these guys who was part of this. Uh, uh, which one is it? Uh, Chris Kindred says. This guy, this guy says, "Oh, you should be. We're, we're, we're. You're being mean to people who are woke people. Don't be mean. Don't be mean to woke people. You motherfucker. You assholes are the ones who started this shit. Yep. You invaded each and every one of our spaces. Exactly. You changed the things that we have spent decades, time, and money on. Our love, our passion, changing it to suit your ideology. They're saying." We're being attacked by ideologically motivated people. You're the ones who made this ideologically motivated. You We're started now, it. We are simply responding in kind with force now. We're not playing by your rules. We're playing as dirty as you are. I say this all the time. We have no time to, to have moral high ground nope. with these people. Not anymore. We have no, we have no time to say, oh, I'm going to do this the right way. I'm not going to. No. Get in the mud. Get in the mud. Get a little dirty. Call them names right back. In fact, call them more funny names, interesting names, memeable names because they can't handle the memes. They'll call us racist and bigots. We don't care about that anymore. Yeah. I don't, Th I don't those care. words have lost their meaning. Yeah. Those, those words have no pointless. meaning. Yeah. So go that. I'm, I'm going to make up. I'm going to create inventive slurs against you, against all your little terminology. I'm going to twist yeah. it around because I can do that. And then we're going to let loose the memers on you. And they're going to meme the hell out of you and make it even funnier. So we're gonna we're gonna get in the money to do it. And to those who say, "Oh, oh, do, don't do it," I my response has always been, "Shut up! Either get out of the way, either help get out of the way, and I'm gonna drag you across the finish line for, to victory, whether you like it or not." Exactly, and that's exactly where we're at. Like this is what pisses me off about this company in particular. You all made it your business to attack innocent people. You made it your business to infiltrate nerds and their spheres who haven't done anything to anyone ever and now they're sick and tired of being attacked and now they are retaliating and now you're mad when they were trying to quietly let this thing go hoping it will pass you continue to attack them you continue to destroy the things that they love now you've hit a fever pitch and and the nerds have revolted and now you're like how is this is this harassment no you came into my house and started stealing my stuff. I have every right to do what I got to do to get you out my house. Yes. It's crazy talk. Yes. And these yes. and this individual, Chris Kinder, is blocking everybody in, in, on planet Earth. This this person here should be ashamed. You should be ashamed because the Steam curator did what exactly what curation is supposed to do. Yeah. Filters. He didn't do any or he or she, I'm not sure who the curator is, I'm not sure the yeah. man or woman. But like this individual did just what a filter's for. Now everyone sees what's involved in your who's involved in your company and stuff. And so now people can make an informed decision, an informed choice if they want to participate in your garbage. And you don't like it because you want to trick people. It's informed because they try to claim he's lying, but no, he has shown receipts from both credits of games and their own website. Yeah. And this is, as I said on Monday, and I said it on Ball Busters on Friday, this is the last resort. They are afraid, so they're creating a cancel mob to try and destroy somebody because they can't fight receipts. So what do they do? They're going to go for the destruction of a person's well-being. Yep. As always. Yep. What happened to free love and acceptance and inclusion and oh, diversity? That's never been the... Never. Never Not, been their stance. It's about control. It's about control it's about making sure that you play their cure their curated content what they want you to play what they want you to interact with so that you learn the right lessons so that you're on the right side of history 
that's what it's Isn't about. That's something. Uh, I, and it boils my piss to see this type of stuff. But I'm so happy. I'm so happy that they are now being exposed on a much larger scale that now the normies themselves are mm-hmm. finally getting a whiff of what The Rock is cooking. And I'm yep. so glad to see it. Because and- not, now it's not just a select group of people saying, hey, these people are the devil. They're like, oh, well, maybe. And I was like, oh, wait. Oh, they are. Oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. And- let's not spend our money. And hopefully, it's like now that is the one thing I got to give the gaming community a lot more credit than the viewing community. They say no with their dollars instantly. And you went I- right to my next right. point. I mean, uh, Jay Fraser 360 for five pounds brings it up perfectly right here. Alan Wake 2 is a game story I have been waiting 13 years to play. Then all my excitement was snuffed out as I watched Mauler's stream RIP Remedy. This encapsulates perfectly what you just said, Dre. Gamers, we are a passionate bunch, but at the same time, when you F with what we love, we are a salty bunch, and you get instantaneous reaction from us. Yeah. We will instantly tell you, oh, you done effed up. You done effed up. We are not only going to now not buy your stuff, we're going to tell everybody not to buy your stuff. We're going to lie. And, and, and some people will spend the money and live stream it, but they're going to do it so that you lose money. But gamers, you don't, you don't have with it. Because these are people who not only spend gobs of money. That's a perfect word. Gobs of it. On what we do, especially not just the game and and maybe extra assets to the game, DLC, extra stuff, fun stuff. But then there is also the extra merch because there are people who will love a game. They'll build a shrine with merch to it. They'll buy everything under the sun they get their hands on like anybody. And then there's also the time. Time is money. We invest our time, especially if it's an MMO, because a lot oh, yeah. of times they're paid, they're paid to play. Thousands, thousands of hours invested into something. If it's a long-term game or a franchise, hundreds of hours is something smaller, but you get my drift. Gamers put their time in there. And then to get something like Alan Wake 2, which is pretty well documented what they did to that game, you you destroyed it. And for, for me, it was Spider-Man 2. I waited uh, 18, no, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, five years. That's not as long as 13 years for Alan Wake 2, but five years for Spider-Man 2, waiting for, waiting for a story because I loved one so much. It was such a great adaptation mm-hmm. of the material. It, it, it paid so much respect and homage to what was Spider-Man. And with watching the other Spider-Man franchise adaptations collapse around me, I thought, mm. I can still enjoy this game. Nope, not, 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 not anymore thanks to sweet baby ink oh you should have played the miles morales game that would be the point where no one played that that there was no hope zero people played that game i got gifted it for free recently and the person was just begging me to play it so i'm like all right i'll I'll start it just to have you shut up i uh i couldn't get through a couple hours i know i know ridiculous one i didn't have a ps5 yet so i didn't know no i i have it on ps4 the miles morales yeah, so, all right, so uh, you get that. Thank you, Jay Fraser, for the five pounds. Uh, so, but you guys understand that. Gamers are not going to take this line down, and we get pissed off when you screw with something we look forward to. Now that this, I'll call it like it is, mass exodus has officially begun mm-hmm. on Friday, who knows what the future might actually hold? Um, the gaming community is saying no with their dollar bills. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, to any god that's listening, move these studios to stop working with these demons. These and it's studios. a Western problem. Good it's a Lord. Western problem because the Japanese motherships are actively cutting ties with the Western companies that have been affected by this. Square that's Enix good. sold they sold off their Western development companies because of what Sweet Baby Inc. did, destroying them with their stuff. Yeah. It is not even close. It's not even like, oh, well, you know, it's a little hit. No, they're losing billions with a B. B. Studios are closing down. Developers are losing their jobs. Artists, producers, directors, entire studios. They're collapsing under the weight of this garbage. Let it it die. Let it die. I'm happy to to let the motherships in Japan 
just continue to do what they do and eventually localize something. And they, and we know how localizing going now. They, they're, they're hip to the game. What's yep. going on with localization? They'll say, fine, fuck it. We'll just do AI scripts. We'll just do AI scripts. Why we don't not? need you. Well, Why not? Just, I, wouldn't, they, they, I wouldn't want my stuff just hire the actors. Just hire the actors. That's all you got to yeah. do. Hire the actors and pay them. More people. The peak people playing Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was 13,000. Just over 13,000. More people are subscribed to this curation thing than have played Suicide Squad Peak on Steam. Yeah. Now, of course, that's not counting PS5 and Xbox and all that kind of stuff. But that just shows you. No, it shows you where, it, where, it, where it is. A brand new AAA live service game that's been that's been out reported, worked on for nine years, which I know is a lie, but worked on for mm-hmm. nine years, got nobody playing it off jump. That's crazy talk. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. I've never seen that before. And from, from Rockstar, this is Rocksteady, arguably mm-hmm. one of the greatest, most inventive studios of our time. Nothing. More people are going back and playing Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. Arkham yeah, Knight has high, more yeah. control of players. Yeah. yeah. It's great to see people control. going back to it now that it's fixed and seeing that it really is a really good game. Uh, and what does it mean for... In, 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 it, it, it's Iron Age. Yeah. This is, it, now, the, now, Iron Age has reached gaming, mm-hmm. where these small independent companies who are passionate about their projects have a chance to make a splash. And well, become yep. something bigger. Become the next wave of AAA companies if they get the money and then reinvest it in themselves and stick to their values and um, making these games. So that's what's going to happen. We're looking at the next generation of AAA companies being born right now. At least that's my initial take on this. That's that's my hot take on that. Watch these guys. See what they put out. Support them if you mm-hmm. like their games. Some of these games are not my cup of tea, so of course I'm not going to spend the money on it, but... If you like them, spend the money on support it. Play it with your friends. Talk it up. Show the world what passionate game development looks like again. As opposed to these Western AAA companies who have basically sacrificed their souls on the on the altar of woke. For nothing. Well, just so. look at the two biggest games of the last six months. They're not exactly independent creators, but they're definitely mm-hmm. smaller outside the main big studio structure. That's Helldivers 2 and Power World. They're both so far out of the corporate structure, the mainstream, yeah. that yeah. they're virtually Iron Age themselves, and they're just blowing away the competition without yeah, close seconds. It's, it's yeah. mind-boggling to see how many people are playing both of those games and loving them, even though they're both technically, at least Power World is technically still in its beta. I yes. think Helldivers might still be in its beta too. It is. They're both still early yeah, access. Yeah, they're both still in, or early access and they're blowing away the competition. Yeah. It's I like Power World. Insane. I, only stopped, I only stopped playing it because, and I saw Static in the chat, so we, Static, our good friend Static 2020, hosts a server for a bunch of us to play on, but the Power World developers are putting more time into fixing single player than the multi- than the multiplayer, especially the multiplayer on, on uh, private servers. So it's yeah. real. Janky. Drake can attest to that. He was with us oh, on some of that. It's yeah, janky. It's rough. Uh, it's rough. We're we're taking a break, and we'll come back to it eventually. We like we're all enjoying the game, but yeah, it, it's hard to play when it's like that. And yeah, Frank, yeah, the stability, the stability at this point is is not sustainable. But that notwithstanding, I am enjoying myself when I play. Yeah, and that's we had a good time, and we're looking yeah. forward to doing it some more. And also, when they add more s- stuff to do, yeah, yeah. Right course. now, it's basically fight a tower, collect your pals, explore yeah. the map. And what was that? Hell Divers Two was done by Arrowhead Game Studios. Mm-hmm. So to say they're independent is an understatement of the millennia. I think yeah. was it in Sweden? Is that Sweden or is it Sweden? Is it Sweden? Let me see. I think they're Sweden. Well, um... yep, Sweden. Yep, Sweden. They're from Sweden. It's by all accounts and purposes, independence, hashtag Iron Age is where everything at. That's where everything is. That's where everything lives because AAA is dead. It's deader than dead. It's dead I, in the West. It still yeah, functions in the East. The East, it functions. because Yeah, in the East, every, yeah, pretty much everything I mean, I'm functions. Going, Stellar Blade. We are two months away from Stellar Blade. I am going, going to make to, trillions. Listen, I'm going to. If that to, were a, a PlayStation exclusive, I would be getting it. That yeah. looks really good. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting it for my PS5, so I'm excited. I'm excited because I listen. I'm gonna to, to, to borrow the phrase of Joy. I'm gonna do unspeakable things to myself to, uh, to that character. <laughs> she looks glorious, That's and her model, her her body model. That is a woman. 
That is what we're Oh, uh, they, they, don't tell Twitter people that they actually yeah. used a body model. Like their whole yeah. like, oh, Disney makes this uh, unrealistic expectation for women body types. And then we see like Sleeping Beauty had a body double. Snow yeah. White had a body double. And then they try to push it off as though, oh, my God, how can you get off there? She has the body of a child. And then you show this 32 year old South Korean model who has a body gifted to her by the gods. <laughs> Who is just that? It's a perfect body, and she has a beautiful face too, so that helps. Uh, so it, it it's that that is a woman. That is a woman who takes two hands to handle. Uh, for them to say, "Oh my God, you're you're attacked to a child." That, what? These are weirdos out there, and they yeah. they hate they hate that their body positivity woke message is being destroyed. Because it's not Why? real. It's not real. I mean, just look right now. Take away whatever complaints you have about so-called censorship. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now. Tifa is still there in all her bootylicious glory. And I haven't gotten there yet, but there is a there is a beach scene coming up where she will be in bikini time. And it's going to be glorious. She's going to be doing sit-ups for me, Dre. <laughs> She's going to be doing sit-ups for me. It's a mini game. I have to play it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.